for you. I think you're gonna like it. Oh, now don't worry about it. The slugs, they're for free in here, so you're gonna take this home and use it for your botany project, okay? Remember, don't you water it after midnight. <laughs> I'm only kidding, don't worry about it. Miguel? Charlie? Where the... Uh, Miguel? You see Miguel? No. Oh, man. How about Charlie? You see Charlie? Oh, man. Right out of here. Sharon, today. Coming, Miss Highsmith. Oh. <laughs> and I don't know how many times I have told you not to call me Miss Highsmith. It's Joan, just Joan. I want you to think of us as equals. Of course. Sorry, Miss Joan. <laughs> Ta. Excuse me, ladies. I know it's Saturday and all, but would you mind? <laughs> sure, Charlie. It's Jack, Miss Highsmith. Oh, whatever. Working the weekend, Miss Highsmith? What's my matter, Sharon? If you don't come to work on Saturday, don't bother coming in on Sunday. 
And that is why Hooray Magazine is number one at checkout stands all over the country. Because we work on Saturdays. Miss Highsmith, the cigarette. Oh, thanks. Nazi. Don't bother, Sharon. I've already signed you in. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, that's okay. No, I'll get it. No, 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 I got it. No, 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 I don't mind. Oh. Oh. Sorry. You okay? Sharon. Sharon! I better go. <laughs> hey. Uncle Hank, what'd you do that for? To remind you of why you're here. I know why I'm here. To mop the floors. You ought to be grateful to get any kind of a job at all. You know, there's not a hell of a lot of people out there anxious to hire a guy whose only claim to fame is his ability to hop wild car. You know, I was making a little money back then, Uncle Oh, yeah, sure. Until you got caught. And they sent you to the state institution. You want to go back there? No, damn straight you don't. Now, here, now listen to me. If you work hard, keep your nose clean. Who knows? You might, you just might someday. Pick up one of these, okay? Hey. Go back to state. those trees uh, right over there by the window. Got more trees here than a freaking forest. Well, I don't think Miguel would do anything like this. He's been a good worker for months for me now. Well, where does Miguel live? Well, he, he actually, Sheriff, he would... Well, kind of you know, he... What do you mean? He's just around and about? With yeah, he kind of works for well, me. Well, we need to talk to him right away. Yeah. And... Can't be giving me any of the stuff inside, Sheriff. Uh, I know that. Sheriff Hansen? Yes, ma'am. Um, what can I do for you? Agent Lucera, USDA. They told me I could find you out here. Uh huh. And uh, how can I help the Department of Agriculture today? Well, we're conducting an investigation into illegally imported flora, and we've tracked several of the shipments to supply houses in this area. And I was just hoping I could have your full cooperation during our procedures. Uh, flora, you mean like plants? Yes, plants, trees, bushes, shrubs. Well, this is a nursery. Uh, all right, look, uh, Agent Lechero. It's Lucero, but please call me Elizabeth. We like to stay on a first-name basis with the locals. Uh, Elizabeth, I'll tell you what. You just continue with your very important work, and if you need any assistance, please feel free to call my office. I'll get right back to you just as soon as I can. Now, in the meantime, if you'll excuse me, I have a situation on my hand here. Well, is there anything I can help you with? I don't think so. It's not exactly an agricultural problem. Well, actually, I'm new to the USDA. I originally started out in the FBI. Really? Why the career change? Oh. Mm. FBI, huh?
promise. Oh, like you promised not to work today? Look, I know what I said, Carly, but something really important came up that I have to deal with. That we get one day a week together. You can't do this any other time. I'm afraid not. It's got to be today. You know, Mom says you're a workaholic. She says that's why she divorced you. Yeah? Well, you know what? Your mom says a lot of things that doesn't necessarily mean that they're true. What's this? It's for you. I don't accept bribes, Dad. Uh, open it. You might change your mind. Can you leave the keys so I can play the radio? Sorry, I need them. Look in the back. Jesus Christ! Close. I am Pablo. Hello. Do you hear me in there? I am Pablo. This is Sam, my spiritual advisor. And of course, you must know Mila and Lulu. Lulu? I shot her for last month's Paris Vogue. You saw it. No, I don't imagine you did. We're here for the shoot. And the roof? Oh, oh, yeah, right. They left me a message about this. You're a photographer, right? <laughs> I'm not a photographer. I am the photographer. And as much as I would love to continue this enchanting conversation, I'm losing the light. Which way to the roof, please? Oh, just take that elevator up to the penthouse and make a right. I can take you up there if you want. I think no. It's a roof. I'm sure we'll be able to find it. Andiamo. Who is this? Dr. Everett Portman. And? And he was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize this year for outstanding work with children in war-torn countries. Wow. Uh. Mm -mm. This is Hooray. 
Hooray! We want stars. We want new stars. We want new hot stars. Not some ancient pedophile who can't even keep his eyes open. Uh, sorry. Um, I, I didn't know anybody was here. <laughs> well, now you know. Get out. Um, excuse me. Think. Who will be the fresh new face to adorn the cover of our fresh new faces issue? Brad Pitt? Over. Johnny Depp. Weird. J-Lo. If her brains were in her ass, she'd be a genius. Look, I think you better go make some coffee. This is gonna be an overnighter. But... What? I'll be right back. Hey, um, Curtis. Sharon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry about that back there. Oh, no, 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 don't worry about that. That was nothing. She's really not that bad once you get to know her. Well, you know, I mean, I'm just a janitor, right? I mean, she doesn't have to know me, and I don't have to know her, and that's the way I'd like to keep it. Oh, great. What's that? It's probably just another brownout or something. The city's so damn bankrupt, we'll probably be working by candlelight next week. <laughs> I'm gonna make some coffee. Do you want some? Uh, you know, I know what you're up to. All right, and don't worry about it. I mean, it's okay. It was my fault back there. Maybe some other time. Some other time. Yes, Ms. Highsmith, I know you're trying to work. Yes, ma'am, I know you pay a great deal of rent, but I, there's nothing I can say except... Uh, it's okay, Ms. Highsmith. Maintenance is here now. He'll check it out. No, ma'am, I'm not going to tell him that. Thank you. Yeah, I know, I know. I got your page. It's happening like this all over the building. Uh, so I'm going to go and check out the main breaker now. Yeah, whatever, ma'am. Just hurry up, okay? I swear, that woman must have been in the Navy. Jeez. One or 
too. I don't remember. She does. No, she does. Not today. Not today. Anybody here? Should have ducked. Of corrosion. It looks. It looks like they've been chewed through. Cut, chewed, whatever. Can you fix it? <sighs> yeah, I probably can, but it's going to take a hell of a lot of time. I'm going to need some very special tools for this. Great. What am I going to tell Joan Highsmith? No. Hank. Hank, are you still there? Hank? Westwood. 
Sharon, you can forget about the coffee. Let's just take the work to a restaurant or something. Jiminy Cricket. Well, that's it. End of story. Come on, let's go. Nobody told that one. Come on. Uh-oh. What do we do now? I don't know. This is the longest time I've ever spent in the kitchen in my life. Maybe we can find a can opener or a knife or something. Use it as a weapon. Oh, great, Sharon. We'll flip them to death. Well, that thing sucked down a whole cup of coffee. I don't think it was interested in the caffeine. Maybe we could get some sugar. That is a great idea. Calm down. Come on. We'll try it. Come on. Here, Ants. Dinner. work in this damn place. It's not just this floor. The power's probably out in the whole building. Well, I'm not waiting around to file a complaint. Come on, let's take the stairs. Now look, miss, Lucero, I Lucero, Agent Lucero. Agent Lucero, I've tried to tell you before, all our suppliers are bona fide importers. I don't use any black market people. It ain't worth it. Now, if you don't mind, we're a little short-handed today. In fact, I've got a guy out in the delivery who, over three hours, jeez. Hey, have you seen Charlie? Go look for him. Do you mind if I look around a little? Suit yourself. Hey, listen, if you don't mind working for minimum wage, you can pitch in and help out. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, my shoes. Oh, honestly, Sharon, how do you expect to get anywhere in life if you can't do everything in heels? Well, let's not stand here and listen. She's in trouble.
is one big ant. Sierra Gardens Nursery. Owner says he's clean. Seems okay. But I found some strange marks on some of his larger growth plants. They almost seem insect-like. But the bite radius is just too large for anything indigenous. I'm gonna take a sample back to the office. The local yokels are all over the corpse they found earlier. Some worker named Miguel. I think it was a mountain lion attack. Hard to tell yet. Charlie. Hank? Come on, man, talk to me. Are you down there? Where are you? Uncle Hank, it's Curtis. Can you come in, please? Hello? Uncle Hank, come in. Where the hell is everybody? You don't think maybe those things killed him? My Uncle Hank is an ex-boxing champion. I think he can handle a couple of ants. Did you have to bring that thing in here? Well, I just wanted to look at it in the light. How did it get that big? Maybe they work out. The phone is still dead. Excuse me. Excuse me, uh, but is this your desk? No. So what are you doing going through other people's stuff? I guess you don't know that I know everything about everybody who works in this building, including people like you, who have been guests of the state. Surprise? Yeah, Mr. Clean here has had vacation time at the state pen. Bingo. Is that loaded? Yep. Uh, hey, Grandmaster Puppy Thug. How about if I take care of that for you? Do you even know how to use one of these things? I have been on the board of directors of the Beverly Hills Gun Club for five years. I think I can handle it.
The coast is clear. Stairs are over here. What? We can't take the stairs? Uh, this little baby says I can. Well, even if you were a perfect shot, which I doubt you are, you don't have enough ammo in that thing to make it past the sixth floor. And I guess you have a better idea. The elevator. Uh, hello? Power's out, Einstein. No, no, we're not gonna take it. I just need to get the doors open. There's a maintenance shaft in there. I mean, it's not much. It's just four cement walls and a ladder, but it'll definitely take us up to the roof. The roof? Now, why would we want to go to the roof? Well, I've been thinking about this, okay? I mean, they're just ants, right? I mean, they're big, but they still think like ants. So? So to them, this place is just a big ant farm. They're making an ant hill. Exactly. And everything down below is just their nesting grounds. So if we can make it up to the roof before they do, maybe we could signal somebody for help. I don't know, a news helicopter, cops, anybody. Yes. I heard you're very good at attracting the police. Look, I've had about enough of this. I'm going. Come on, Sharon. Sharon? You can come with me, or you can stay here and be ant food. It's up to you. I'm going to the roof. Well, maybe my new assistant will know the difference between hot and not. You're fired. Whatever. Okay, look. You ready for this? No. Good. Let's go. Thank you. This happen every time? I've tried hypnosis, acupuncture, repressed memory therapy. Nothing works. Well, the FBI isn't all it's cracked up to be. At least you're federal. Yeah, right. Hey, Sheriff, sure. you got a sec? Sure. It's okay, go ahead. You know Miguel, the body we found earlier today? I was doing a prelim on him. Took a blood and tissue sample, just to check. Yeah? I found traces, significant traces, of formic acid. Since this guy seemed to be in the same shape, I just did a quick check on him. And guess what I found? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say formic acid. Bingo. You don't get it, do you? Formic acid is not a naturally occurring element in the human body. Are you saying that's how they were killed? No, you couldn't kill somebody with it unless you drowned them in it. I checked it out. Formic acid is the active ingredient in the saliva of the Campanotus obscura piece. Oh, my God. The what? Your victims were eaten by ants. Hank? Hey, Hank, you still down here? Hank? Where the hell are you? Hank?
Let me in. Open the door, come on. Please, open the door! All you have to do is hold on tight and don't look down. All right? Okay. I'm gonna go first and I'll help you across. Just be careful with the first step, okay? Just kidding. <sighs> Thanks a lot. Hey! Do you hear that? Hello? There. Somebody down there? Yeah! I'm stuck in the elevator! Yeah, we know. Uh, are you all right? What well, I'm baby. Need help. Okay, uh, I'll be right down. I'm not going anywhere. But you said Look, we... I know what I said. What do you want me to do? Leave him there? I'll be right back. What are these things? Honestly, I don't exactly know. What's your name? Carly. What are you doing down here, Carly? My dad had to get something from his office. He said he'd only be a couple minutes. I guess I fell asleep. Uh huh. Well, I'm Jack Warner. You a security guard? Yeah. No offense, Jack Warner, but you're doing a really lousy job. When they find me missing, somebody will be coming looking for us. Just as long as we stay in the car, we'll be safe. We can't get in here. <laughs> oh. It's okay. It's okay. Nothing to worry about. I don't suppose your, your dad left you the keys, did he? No. I don't suppose you have a gun, do you? No. Hey, bad day for an elevator ride, huh? You think? Listen, my daughter, she's in the garage. You don't, you don't think those you don't think those things got to her, do you? Look, don't worry about her right now, okay? We're gonna get you out of here first, and then we'll take care of her. Can you stand up on that thing? You all right? Yeah. I don't know what those things stung me with, but I feel like crap. I'm coming down. God. Looks like you held your own in here. Big bugs. How's your leg doing? Oh, that's pretty nasty. No sugar coated. Okay, look, this is the deal. If we can't get you up through there, then we're gonna have to go out the doors. I right, tried, it didn't work. Yeah, well, that's because you didn't have the magic key.
in a barrel. Bad. I was just beginning to like this. I'm sure there'll be another chance. Yeah, you think? What are we gonna do? We couldn't get out if we wanted to. Get off the car! Ants don't hear. They feel. That's what their antenna are for, so that they can get vibrations. It's how they talk to each other. I did a project at school. Bad vibrations, so maybe they'll get lost. Do you think that this would work? A shot. Let's see if they like heavy metal trash. to do on my Saturday. What are you doing here? You were supposed to take the stairs. What happened? Well, what do you think happened? It was so dark, I couldn't see anything at all. And I turned left instead of right and accidentally came back here. Wait, do you feel that? A little fresh air? It's the air conditioning shaft. It leads out under the roof. Well, how do we get through it? Well, what do you usually do when you got a problem around here? Call maintenance. That's right. You call maintenance. Watch out, okay? Look out below. down here, I think we can get out. stuff. What kind of stuff? I 
I stole cars, okay? I was a car thief. I could jack anything under 60 seconds, all right? Your parents must be really proud of you. Come on, can we move it? Sure. Thanks. darling perfect give me more anguish more guilt you hate to be beautiful show me how you hate to be beautiful pout like a little girl yes come on eh? <coughs> ah yes 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 follow i'm bored when are we gonna finish soon darling soon have some more champagne Come get me, help me! Come here. Ah! 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 
put up quite a little fuss. But I got his delivery orders right here. He made a shipment to the Wallman building downtown LA. You call your people? I called. Hey, what? Sorry, Sheriff. What is this? It's worse than we thought. It better be. Since when is the U.S. Department of Agriculture in the business of kidnapping police officers? I'm sorry, Ed. These are desperate times. They require desperate measures. This section of the USDA is so secret that the president doesn't even know it exists. The least you can do is tell me what the hell's going on. This is a ship called the Skyward Dragon. It was docked two weeks ago with some produce, some food, the usual. But... The FBI was alerted that there was a possible link to a terrorist cell located out of Nevada. They found a half a ton of plutonium in the ship's hold, part of a missing stockpile from Iraq. They seized it and most of the cargo. Most? After the final count, they found 12 small trees were missing. No, it didn't seem important at first, until after the tests were done, it showed that the plutonium seal had been leaking. So it leaked out onto the trees. And whatever was in the trees as well. The ants? the ants. Now, the life cycle of an ant is 40 to 65 days. So with a metabolic rate like that, the effects of radiation can be significant. Uh, you're kidding me, right? Radioactive ants. From the look of the victims, you can see how their predatory behavior has been completely amplified. Uh, angry radioactive ants. And with the bite radii, these ants are getting bigger. Giant, angry, radioactive ants. Then why the hell are we sitting in this overpriced RV? Why aren't you doing something about it? We are. We're bringing in a specialist. Special Agent Corrigan? It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. I'm Agent Worth. Who the yakety yak, Worth? What do you got? Well, we're not exactly clear, sir. One of the field agents reported that some trees have been delivered into this building. Trees? What kind of trees? Palms, I believe, sir. But we think the trees are infested with ants. Ants. That's it. That's why they brought me all the way out here. For some goddamn ants. Well, sir, they're radioactive. Radioactive. Highly. You know, that's more like a soldier. Show me some ants. I just want to make sure this cable's tied on here so we can retrieve the rig. Paolo, don't let go of that rope! It's secure. All right, Sam. Good luck. Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs>
already made it! Pull it back! Pull it back! Sharon, you're gonna be next, okay? Bring your key to this place? No. Good thing that I brought mine. Go back down. Sorry. Could take a chance. Check out the security area. Buck, back lobby. We rendezvous here in 10. Cool. Yes, sir. Yes, Could have been Pablo. Oh my God! Oh my God! Chum, I believe we got a bug problem. Oh. 
Agent Lucero. What are you doing slumming down here in the USDA? I thought you'd be back in the FBI. Unless maybe you're still, uh... Just give me your report, Corrigan. My report. My report is you got a building here full of the biggest goddamn ants I've ever seen. Who's your friend? Ed. Sheriff Ed Hanson, Pelham County. Well, Ed, you're a long way from Mayberry. What are you doing with the USDA? Trying to get some tips on how to manage your beef? Corrigan, just give me your recommendation. I don't have any recommendation. I'm just gonna fill this place with enough DDT to flatten Texas. And we're gonna have ourselves a good old-fashioned bug barbecue. Oh my God, thank God you're here. There are two men still up yeah. in the building. Mm -hmm. um, one is Curtis and the other is Paolo. And um, my boss, her name is Joan, she's standing yeah. in the building. Mm -hmm. um, what is that sound? to get you. Hurry, please. Oh, oh God, it, it's coming, it's coming! Carly? Carly? She's alive. Have little faith, I know what's appropriate in this situation. Oh, you do? Girl in there in the basement, and I think that we need to get her out of the way. Who's in charge here? I, I am. am. Well, you obviously know about the ants. We have the situation handled. Thank you. Cargan. We're locked and loaded, sir. Ready for your command. All right, countdown begins in five minutes. Countdown? What do you mean, countdown? Everything's under control. No, you, you don't understand. There's a girl in the garage. She called me from a cell phone. She's alive. There are people still alive in that building. It's very unfortunate. But I can't afford to risk any more of my people. And we have no more time to wait. Collateral damage. What? What the hell do you mean, collateral damage? Human lives? Agent Lucero, will you please get all these people out of here? I'm trying to work. Corrigan. Listen, I don't like to really quote policy, okay? But in a crisis situation, I do have seniority. Is that understood? Let's go. Four minutes to count down. Evacuate the building, gentlemen. There are people still alive in this building! Elizabeth, you can't just let them do this. I have no choice. In a situation like this, he gives all the orders. Oh, Christ. Okay, 
Let's go get that kid. Follow me. Could she be? Well, she said she was hiding. Can you call her? Well, she was cutting out before. Still no service. Holy crap, look at that. Oh my god. Are those ant eggs? Elizabeth said the radiation would increase the size as well as their appetite. Like it sped up the breeding cycle as well. A couple of days just to play something full of Corrigan, wait! Right, go, go. What happened to your friends? They're gone. They went back into the building, I think, to get the girl. Bad choice, bad choice. Two minutes to count down. Look, then stop the countdown. You can't knowingly kill these people. Look, and if I wait, and one of those things gets out and into the city, then what? Look, if you don't stop this, I will. I'll go to the top. Hey, Evan, take Mrs. Sarah for a cup of coffee. Just let go of me. Get off me. Lovely girl. Let's go, guys. Come on. Let's Come on, guys. Me. We got one minute Let's to count down. Let's go. Let's go, man. let's go, let's go. I'm gonna see if the power's on. Check for keys in that truck. All right. Keys, power's out, and we are out of here.
Ladies and gentlemen, to absolute termination. Let's go up the countdown. photographer. Congratulations. Another job well done. Well, they did have their charm. So, is the crisis really over? Definitely. Am I your boss again? Absolutely. Good. I always like the woman with a little spunk. <laughs> I wonder if she's seeing anybody. Yeah, I'm my mom's. I need you to come get me, okay? Yeah. I am fine, okay? Should you come and get me? <laughs> I'm 
You're probably gonna have to answer a lot of questions. Yeah. Look, I told her her dad died trying to save us. She doesn't have to know any different, you know? Okay. Listen, maybe we can get caught up later and have some coffee or something. Yeah, I'd like that. <laughs>